plaintiff, Rachel Boucher, says the defendant is her daughter. And although she is very nurturing, she makes some bad choices when it comes to men. Rachel is suing her daughter for an unpaid loan and emotional distress. Defendant Jessica Tepper admits that she has dated some bad men, one of whom is now married to her sister. Jessica is countersuing her mother for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Let's start with you, ma'am. Um, well, Jessica is my daughter, obviously. And um, I just want to say I do love her very much. I'm the person that she calls when things get tough. And I'm always there. I'm her mom. You know, I, I come to her rescue. That's what moms do, right? And um, in this case, um, she was in an emergency situation. And don't feel and bad about, don't feel bad about having to sue your daughter. Your Honor, to be honest, I mean, this isn't the first time around. So it's not, this, uh, there we go. We learn more you talk, the more and more we are like in our children. Yeah. How I many mean, other times? Good parents. <laughs> That's right. Give me some more background on her debts and in the past. Well, I mean, Jessica makes me very proud. She does a lot of great things. She's got a big heart. She's very nurturing. Um, she's a nurse by trade. So that alone tells you she cares for people. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, sometimes the choices that she makes for um, men and um, tend to be her downfall. And um, I kind of can't blame her. I mean, I didn't really start her off on the right track with that and my own mistakes. And her choice of men have been, a little, just say, a little less unsatisfactory. And um, To her or to you? Uh, well, to me at effect. first and then to her after the you fact. you as well, young lady? Only certain ones, Your Honor. The one that's still around is mom. Now doesn't... married to my sister. Well. A guy you used to date. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, sorry mm -hmm. to hear that. This this case doesn't have anything to do with that particular person. Um, no, I've picked some pretty bad ones, and I've picked some also other ones that my mother would take out on motorcycle rides with and yeah. without me. You know what I mean? There's it's it goes all over the place. Hold on. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so sisters going with one of your ex men. And mama rides the other ones on the back of the motorcycle. No, alongside. They each had their own motorcycles. Oh, alongside each other. Okay, <laughs> that's a big difference. See, I'm glad I got clarity. These rides are with uh, mom's husband, too. So. Okay, good. And um, why don't you tell me about your relationships and things that your mom might not like that were a result of bad choices? Uh, my ex was probably the worst one. What was his deal? What Was he abusive or something? It was a very toxic relationship. Okay. All right. How does she owe you $4,000? Well, <laughs> she's in the middle of her divorce. And um, when the emergency situation came where she had to get back to Connecticut, um, we helped get her here. And then um, shortly after that, she needed to get um, filing done for her court, her court costs. So um, against my husband's wishes, I loaned her the money. Why was your husband against it? Well, because he's done, a, we, we as, a, as, as a couple really have helped her out financially a lot. Um, it's been an ongoing, I would say a carousel of money going out, some coming back in, mostly going out. Okay, you loan her money for to get a car, get her car fixed, to get clothes or to get your lights turned back on. But this is divorce. So I think that's a different category. That might have been the only time that she should perhaps have said, okay, this is the time we do. We probably shouldn't have in the past and we won't anymore once she gets out of this. Just trying to understand your thinking on that. I've because... always been the cause of a lot of their fights, Your Honor. Over what? What type of uh, debt? It's just some, Jessica always needs something. Jessica needs this. Jessica needs that. And I, people but anything as important as a lawyer for a divorce? No, but when somebody, they're just trying to start their lives and 
here I am still needing stuff at 32 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. And her choice of men have been, oh, let's just say a little less unsatisfactory. And um, to her or to you? Uh, well, to me at first, and then to her after the fact. As well, young lady. Only certain ones, Your Honor. The one that's still around is mom. Now doesn't. married to my sister. Oh. Defendant Jessica Tepper is being sued by her mother, who claims Jessica has made some bad choices when it comes to men. I got news for you. I have four children. They're all professionals, two lawyers. One works for the United States Senate. One is a producer. They all have needs. Don't feel hesitant to ask to be rescued from a financial bind from your parents at any point. Now, they can make their own judgments, and I do. Now I send them to my granddaughter, Nora. I say, y'all got to go through her, because she says no to everything, <laughs> so I knew what I was doing. I said, if she says yes, then you get it. So I know she says no to everything. <laughs> Could you ask granddad if we get no? No. <laughs> Into that, so you got to find a better way. Yeah. But no, ma'am, the point I'm making, you got the point, and that is some you're going to continue helping us i'll promise you that and so I, I, that was the time i'm just not passing judgment just providing a little insight that you can take home to hubby uh that you can well, tell the judge see it uh, honest your honor we were paying money to get her here and we got her here from another state and then once that happened it was like okay she's back to work she's on her own she's holding her feet and we get another call for money. And at that point, he said, she's going to go back. You that know, last she's going to go back. Mm -hmm. And I unfortunately, after I'd already paid this money out to the judge, she did take him back. And it lasted only about two weeks. But it was a lot of stress and a lot of arguments between me and him because we'd already put out so much. And then she took him back. And this... And with the I understand now. Uh, so when was the money given or loaned? And when were you to be repaid? <clears throat> so on Wednesday, April 7th, I received the text message that the attorney needed the money that day to do the filing. Well, page one is your text message from her asking me for the funds. Page three is the evidence of my credit card transaction receipt of the $409 for the attorney. And then um, her promise, which was also on page one of that evidence, was that she'd be able to pay me that Friday, which was her payday two days later. She's a good kid. She just makes a few bad mistakes here and it tend to be around men. I have no more car, Your Honor, now, because after I borrowed all this money, I went and crashed my car. I have really bad luck. I just, I just, life has not gone my way ever. And it just is always... Always something. Do you owe the money? And I do. Okay. And what's I'm your counterclaim? I'm just trying to keep a roof over my kid's head at this point. Okay. And what's your counterclaim for emotional distress? I can't do anything right. And, you know, I've struggled my entire life and I'm trying really hard to get ahead. And no matter what I do, it's always wrong. You know, I came here, I'm starting over and I'm trying to, you know, stop crying every day and get up out of bed every day. And so I, you know, for instance, on page one, I brought my children to one of my friend's houses and we had s'mores around a bonfire. I came home, I put them to bed. They were in bed by eight o'clock. You know, it was a school night. I get a text message. Aren't you supposed to be the responsible parent? What are they doing out this late? And I'm like, mom, I'm 32 years old and these are my kids and they're in bed. And that's what the emotional distress is for is. Um, it's been my whole life. I'm just, I'm the black sheep. I'm the one that the room gets quiet when somebody walks in and I walk in the room, it gets quiet. What I'm hearing is that you have been, you feel you've been looked down upon or looked at as inferior in your family and that has cost you opportunity that has cost you self-esteem issues you feel that you're discriminated against in your household and criticized in your household and when you walk in the room you look that critically almost to the effect of 
what is she here for? Or why is she here? Or we have to adjust our conversation now that she's walked into the room. Pretty much, isn't that what you're telling me? It sounds spot on. Okay, and what do you think that's from? My mistakes um, over and over and over and over again with this man and this car crash and just, oh, Jessica's pregnant again. How old were you when you were first pregnant? 21. What troubles did you get into as a minor? A lot. Crashing cars. Okay, so so far all I've heard is she can't drive and, she <laughs> and she's gullible to men. What else? That's all I've heard so far. Okay, accidents I was, and men issues. I was, she was rebellious. Not with the wrong crowd. That's what I'm trying to hear. She was rebellious frequently. Mm -hmm. I had a mouth. Smoking cigarettes, had a mouth, was doing it her way or no way. Was she skipping She's school, very... getting used in drugs and fighting and violence and any of that? Um, expelled. For what? Yeah. Fighting. How often? That was the one big one. She constantly had a personality clash in high school with somebody. And I, I used to ask her, I don't understand this. Why? You're... Because to be honest, she's such a giving person in one side and the other side is she's got that side that says, don't mess with me because if you do. Clashing all through high school. I was terrible when I was a kid. I was terrible. And I've yeah, worked I my whole life to try to fix that. I'm the black sheep. I'm the one that the room gets quiet when somebody walks in and I walk in the room, it gets quiet. What I'm hearing is that you have been, you feel, you've been looked down upon or looked at as inferior in your family. Defendant Jessica Tepper is being sued by her mother, who claims Jessica has made some bad choices when it comes to men. What did your parents do to try and help you as a minor when you were exhibiting all then. the, when you were exhibiting the destructive behavior? She tried really hard How? to stop. How? Uh, she would bail me out of jail. She would try to stand in front of the door and say, you're not leaving. And I would push her out of the way and leave. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you should have gotten counseling. Did you get counseling? Did you go for counseling ever? Yes, Your Honor. How often? Weekly, I think it was. Okay. And did they diagnose you as needing medication of some sort? Um, I think I was on antidepressants at one point, but right. I think I just stopped taking them. Why? I just don't like taking medicine. Because <laughs> she didn't think she needed Show them. Show of hands. Who likes to take medicine? <laughs> no. They always think I can do it on my own. That's the problem, young lady. Your mother was doing her best, and you haven't lived up to your part. Your part is adhering to therapy as it has been prescribed for you, and you haven't. So I don't want to hear nothing about mom anymore. She's been seeking help now as an adult. Our family unit has gotten better. I love this kid like you can't believe. I don't think so, I'd be here still, Your Honor, if I didn't have my mom constantly picking me up. But she's, um, she does make me proud in a lot of ways. She's standing strong this time. Um, I just, like I, I told her, it's just enough's enough. And this is part of tough parenting, um, having to go what we're doing today. Okay. Well. And every time I, you know, I, I, I say, yes, I'll pay you back on Friday, mom. I'll pay you back on Friday. And then. All of a sudden, my kid goes and breaks his glasses or my electricity gets shut off. <clears throat> and I can only give her like 20 bucks or I can only give her 40 bucks or, you know, it's not like I'm not trying to do anything. It's just I'm just trying to stay float. OK, well, I'm going to have to deny your emotional distress uh, because um, your mom hadn't done anything to you that is considered extraordinarily damaging and sh distressful. So I can't grant your judgment on that. I am going to grant her judgment for the loan you agreed that you owe. Have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Just so you know, I do love you, and I am proud of the strides you're making right now. 
and the things that you've done recently in the past. I just wish that you had never met that man. Next two of us. 